Lena here with Heroes Smart Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Today we're going to be talking about plurals. We've talked about plurals quite often um, in this class over the last few months. We've talked about how to make a word ending in F plural. We've talked about how to make words um, irregular nouns plural, like man to men or tooth to teeth. We've talked about different things like that. Today we're going to talk about words uh, making plural words that end a certain way just so you know how to either read these words or spell these words in your own experiences so that's what we'll be talking about today let's go ahead and open up with the word of prayer and we'll get right into today's lesson we thank you lord for this time we have to learn and grow we seek to do the best we can and add to what we know we love you god with all our hearts and to others love we show pleasing you is our goal up to our lesson we shall go in jesus name we pray amen Hey man, good work. So um, we're talking about plurals. Now, the um, criteria for how to make a word, a noun, plural, there are lots and lots of ways, lots of different um, rules, okay? I think I was, you know, maybe 10 or 12 different rules. We're just going to talk about three of those rules today. We're going to talk about the rule that tells you how to make a regular noun plural, not an irregular noun. We've talked about that before. How to make a regular noun plural, how to make a noun that ends in either S, 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 H, C, H, X, or Z, how to make those plural, and how to make a noun plural that ends in a Y when the letter that comes before the Y is a consonant. Okay, so one at a time, let's start with regular nouns. So you just have a regular noun, such as cat. It's a regular noun. How do I make that plural? I add the S. I had one cat, but now I have two cats. Add an S. I have a house in San Diego. I also have a house in Sacramento. I have two houses. Add your S. My husband has a car. I have a car. We have two cars. In the living room, there's a bat. I don't know why there's a bat in the living room, but there's a bat in the living room and there's a bat outside. We have two bats. I use a clip for all of my workbooks. That's about five clips. So I use one clip each. That's five clips out of S. Okay, so I guess we really like cars, because I said car again. But what if we were to turn this into an N? That could be can. I have a canned good. Maybe I have six canned goods, six cans. I have one board. Actually, I have two boards. To make it plural, I just add S. There are, there's a stick in the backyard. There are multiple sticks we're going to gather for our fireplace. To make it plural, we add S. There's a packet of sugar, except we need four packets. We need to add an S here to show that we're talking about more than one packet. So that's easy. These are regular nouns. Um, these are the most common, if that helps. And then there are nouns ending in either S, C, H, X, you know, uh, a, uh, S, 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 H, even nouns ending in Z. What do we do about these? By the way, if you're wondering, how do I remember that? Nouns ending in S, 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 C, H. Well, one of two things. Number one, if you went to grade K's English curriculum, you would have that workbook where all of this is there spelled out very well for you. Although it is not spelled out as much in grade one's workbook because we were expecting you to have come to the program have already already have that access that information. But number two, and probably more importantly, when you try to determine, hmm, I've got this word here. I want to make it plural. Do I add ES or do I just add S? in the context of these nouns. Well, if the word ends in a s sound, okay? S -s 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 All those where your teeth are coming together, s -s 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 -s. when your teeth are coming together like that, it kind of makes a similar sound. Ch -s 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 -s. All of these sounds are very similar. Anything, any word with that kind of sound, you're gonna have to add ES. Okay, hopefully that'll just help. That helps me with my spelling. Any word that has that ending, bus, add ES. Um, tax, add ES. Um, fox, and his. Okay, so bus, add ES, it has a s 
ending. Lunch, add ES, your teeth are coming together and you're passing air through it, so add ES. Tax, add ES. Watch, add ES, you're adding ES, not just S. If I can get this right, <laughs> okay. Boxes, add ES. Hisses, but brushes, buzzes. So you just add ES to any of those kind of sounds. So that's the easiest way to remember that. Do you agree? Yeah. So instead of saying S, 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 X, does this end in a CH? Just think of it like that. Nouns ending in Y. So there are some nouns that end in Y and the letter just before it. It's a consonant, okay? Letters ending in Y and the letter just before it is a consonant. Such as this, this word ends in Y and the letter just before it ends in a consonant. That's T, that's a consonant. This letter ends in Y and the letter just before ends in a P. That's a consonant. This letter ends in Y and the letter just before it ends in B. That's a consonant. In these situations, <clears throat> You want to start by rewriting the, C, the first letters, drop the Y, and add I-E-S. So to make city plural, you add I-E-S, drop the Y. To make puppy plural, you still use your pup, okay, but we're going to drop the Y. You say drop the Y, drop the Y until it cries, and add I-E-S. And this word, baby... You would drop the Y and add I-E-S. Okay. Uh, same thing is true with cry. That just came to me. Cry or dry or any of those, uh, those sort of words. What are we going to do? We're going to drop the Y because there's a Y. And the letter just before it is an is a, is a R. So drop the Y and add I-E-S. I believe you got that. I believe you got that today. Praise God. Okay, so go ahead and work through your workbook with, with this information. I think you should do a very good job. Thank you so much for coming to class, for being a part of today's lesson. Until tomorrow, God bless. I'll be your hero's body and as you study with heroes born.